This is Viewpoint. It's a part of the Seeing Exhibition that looks at how new technologies are changing how we see the world. So we have everything from research experiments like virtual empathy to prototypes of products like iCane, which converts spatial information into vibrations. The name of this piece is Virtual Empathy. So basically it's an experiment that we're conducting um, uh, on virtual ca characters in virtual reality. So in particular, we're very interested in the, the highly realistic virtual character. If you feel that a character looks realistic, does that affect your empathy levels? So that's really what we're trying to get at. But we'll also be tracking their movements throughout the environment and seeing how their movements are affected by what the character says. There's our virtual character that um, is, is just standing around at the moment and we're, we're just observing him. We thought it would be very interesting to look at virtual reality because it's a whole different seeing experience. It is becoming accessible so people will have more access to these sort of tools and they'll be able to develop their own environments, make their own artistic impression on it. So uh, it's, it's a growing community and we hope to get people involved. We also have devices like DI, which is an iPhone attachment that can be used to convert your camera into a cheap ophthalmoscope, which could have a huge impact on global health because you can take photos of people's retina with an iPhone. And then we have a more high-tech version of that. This was developed by Kate Coleman and design agency Me and Him and You as a prototype for something that could go to developing countries where those expert resources aren't available. We're the first generation ever to be able to access what we know about the eyes and take it away from people like me and into the realm of the public. I'm extremely excited that we are the first generation to now be able to treat preventable blindness and it's because of what people will find out about here. So you can come in, check your own eyesight, see the back of your own eye, test if you're colorblind and even if you're not colorblind you can try out a pair of glasses that simulate what it's like to be red, green, colorblind.